Dr. Mushroom, it is mid-January in Indiana. We actually have a 60 degree day, beautiful day for hunting winter mushrooms. I'm very excited. Today we have um, an example of a polypore. And to my knowledge, it's the only known poisonous polypore. Papalopolis nigilans. This one is rather unassuming. Um, it, the cap can be rough or smooth. It's kind of got a cinnamon colored, um, no stem or minimal stem. And, um, you know, there, there's a common saying uh, among mushroom, mushroom hunters that there's no poisonous polypores. Well, there, there is at least one um, that we know of. So this particular species it can be uh, tough when dry and has very, very small angular pores so i apologize you there you go that's um so you see they they are it's a kind of oblong uh this mushroom if you have some potassium hydroxide or uh, ammonia ready on your person you can put a drop of it and it will show a um impressive violet staining which i encourage you to try over and over uh, i don't have any right now perhaps i'll do another video when i take this one home uh, but there you go. That's the one polypore that you have to look out for. But many, many other polypores are medicinal. Um, almost uh, to our knowledge, no other ones are poisonous. This one is a uh, turkey tail mushroom, highly sought after for its uh, medicinal properties. <clears throat> turkey tail will often get a little bit of uh, algae in a symbiotic relationship with it, which will make absolutely beautiful colors. Uh, here are some more turkey tails. Stunningly beautiful. Turkey tail is known as Termites versicolor, which means it can appear in different colors and still be the same species. Here's a beautiful example of false turkey tail. Sterium austria. Uh, often you'll find them more faded. Uh, these um, are more paper thin. And uh, they are... Um, not toxic. They are. They have their own medicinal properties, but they're not as highly sought after as uh, are the true turkey, turkey tails. Um, thank you.